I am Jennifer Bajar from Medellin, Colombia, and I want to thank Dr. Nahai for his invitation to introduce our article. Capsular contracture is an unresolved issue. Strong evidence focuses on bacterial biofilms as its main source. Studies has shown that almost 95% of bacteria found in capsules and implants belong to the resident skin microbiota with staph hepidermis as the main micro. Multiple strategies have been proposed to prevent implant contamination, but if skin antiseptics could help to avoid it or which would be the best have never been discussed. However, PPPI, also known as betadine, has traditionally been the antiseptic of choice. When we compare the skin antiseptic effect of PBPI versus chlorhexidine on capsular contracture proportions in patients who underwent to primary breast augmentation using a periodical approach, we found a statistically significant difference with higher capsular contracture proportion in patients with PBPI. I want to highlight the Paradoxical chemical behavior of the 10% PBPI solution acts maximum antimicrobial action is reached with dilutions of 1 to 100. Therefore, our hypothesis is that undiluted PBPI solution for skin antisexes has to optimal action. Furthermore, exposure to fat and blood decreases its bactericidal activity. In contrast, chlorhexidine is not affected by blood, it has longer residual activity and reduces skin colony counts of coagulase negative staphylococci. We believe that skin antisexes with chlorhexidine can help prevent biofilm-related capsular contracture. So we propose the use of chlorhexidine instead of PBPI for skin antisexes to reduce potential implant contamination. Randomized control trials using genomic and molecular technology are necessary to validate our hypothesis to standard this practice in the surgical safety checklist. I hope you enjoy this whole topic. Mm -hmm.